Hi, I'm Michael Callahan, president of Aegis.net Incorporated. We are a CMMI maturity level three small business who provides software testing and IVNV to a range of agencies for more than 20 years now. With IVNV in mind, I'm directing my comments mainly at the willows out there, but other trees might be interested too. We think one big reason emerging technologies like RPA and machine learning have been slow to take off in government is that innovation outruns the planning invested in long-term contracts. The scope of five-year contract vehicles didn't anticipate such game-changing technology popping up halfway through. So be careful of too much rigidity that could limit how contractors can apply new innovations to your programs. We recommend you seek contractors with strong, demonstrable records of innovation rather than ones who can merely claim years of experience with specific technologies. One particular challenge of the coming technological revolution that will make farms look perhaps like smart cities is the need for robust interoperability among the emergent technologies and systems. APIs are more important than ever. You want to ensure developers have a way to test interoperability of these systems using these APIs. And of course, you need knowledgeable, experienced IVNV. We notice you plan to evaluate for each acquisition which procurement strategy makes the most sense rather than pre-planning a set approach. We like that. But we think there are some ground rules you should consider around what contracts make sense to keep in-house versus the ones that are maybe better suited for BICs. Here's a picture of a program outline we have in mind. We recommend an IVNV specific IDIQ or BPA that's managed by you at the USDA rather than another agency with one or a few small businesses fully independent of uh, any other USDA contract or subcontract. This role will ensure effective oversight on behalf of the program through an independent lens. One example of where this approach has worked very well is at the Nuclear Regulatory Commission where your FSA CIO, Darren Ash, helped to stand it up. Using agile stories and retrospectives, communication of small increment progress is natural. How that translates to meeting strategic or epic level goals, though, must be guided. Keep in mind, agile ceremonies focus on the project, not the program or the agency. We recommend avoiding so-called vanity metrics in favor of ones that support validated learning. Uh, and that is learning about what your customers really value that you can use to educate your next steps. IVNV, if done correctly, is collaborative. It takes strong people skills and experience, as well as a commitment to a one-team approach while respecting each player's contractual independence. One best practice we have observed is to ensure IVNV is engaged early, even early enough to help with the acquisition of the implementation services. Questions we think worth asking include, for one, uh, when do you actually need a given capability? Price will drop for technology, and learning curve theory tells us that any delay in implementation across the enterprise makes that buy faster and cheaper, normally with higher quality. Just in time is often just right. And also, what level of personnel do you want doing the work? For truly senior personnel, how do you ask for that effectively? In other words, in a way that's not easily gamed. We feel this is especially important in IVNV. I'm going to close with a word from the founding member of our board of advisors, Dr. Barry West. Hello. Over the course of my 28 plus year federal career, including six CIO positions, one common thread I saw in the success of IT programs like the one USDA is pursuing was a meaningful testing program and independent verification and validation, or IVNV. Transformation was difficult in the government at every agency I've led, and having an independent technical advocate who is both able and willing to speak the truth to all parties has been absolutely critical. In my mind, you truly need that checks and balances at every step of the way. And so it's important for IVNV to have a seat at the table at all phases, from planning to O&M. 
And despite some people's view that Agile obviates IVNV, our experience is that human nature remains such that the activities defined under IVNV are still needed independent of Scrum teams. I wish the Willow team and all the other trees all the best in your efforts to bring new innovation to bear at USDA. And on behalf of Aegis, we would welcome the opportunity to speak with you further.